Hi everyone, I'm going to react to you. Avatar The Last Airbender Season 2, Episode 9, Bitter Work. And last episode was um, The Chase, where you had Azula and her girls and you know, following Aang and the others. And then you had Zuko also following Azula. And then there was this giant battle between... Giant battle? Well, there was this battle, big battle, between all the main players. And then... Azula shot that um, arrow, so yeah, that's what happened last episode. And before we get into this one, if you guys have a reaction, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and please consider supporting me on Patreon at patreon.com slash And now let's start this episode, and here we go. Okay guys, in case the reaction gets blocked and I had to cut out the reaction itself, you can just look in the pinned comment in the comment section where for the link to the reaction highlight itself, so you can just click on it, watch it, and then just come back for my review. How can everybody be quiet? Do you? That's airbending, right? Oh, it's that Iroh and his son that's dead. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yep. Careful. You still hurt. Hmm. I don't think she's gonna be... <laughs> My hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he's doing it. He is doing it. Nice. <laughs> nice. Wait, who's doing that? Mm. Of course, since she's called bloody.
Sets the vibration. No. <laughs> tough is a tough teacher. <laughs> tough is a tough teacher. Oh my goodness. I love that. Are you not gonna come out? Really? 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 <laughs> He's not in the world. <laughs> Trying to push him to the breaking point. Nah, that's not happening. Oh, he's gonna use earth painting to get him out. No, you won't. Yep, you're gonna have to use earth painting. Who does? Uh-oh. Now either get sucker out of there or he's gonna die. <laughs> no. <sighs> oh 
<laughs> Earth bending? No. That made me feel bad for him. Like when the tear was rolling down, because it felt like even nature was has turned its back on him, sort of like maybe you know his father and he turned his back on him. He has never counted on his sister, you know. And then the it feels like he's he's always had this tough life, and then it's like telling nature like you've always been you know I guess mean to me so come on bring it bring it the lightning but then nature's like no I'm not giving you anything I don't know it, it felt sad this episode was then just I uh, was in learning earth bending and um, Zuko learning fire bending I was afraid last episode that uh, I was a little bit afraid for um, Arrow, but I knew in the back of my mind that he was okay. So seeing him get up here, oh, the little flashback of him and his son that died. Sad. So he woke up and then Zuko told him. <laughs> I love that scene when Zuko made the tea and he like forced himself to drink the first one. But then when Zuko turned around at the second one, he just threw it away. That was funny. So Zuko was like, okay, I need to learn lightning. How to bend lightning, I guess. Fire bend lightning. Whatever. And he tried to teach him, but because Zuko's mind is all not calm and cool and collected, like he has a lot of issues. That he has to deal with he wasn't able to do the lightning thing so um i would decided to teach him another move and that is to direct lightning and he said that he learned it by seeing how waterbenders bend how they flow with the energy and stuff so yeah he taught him but how can you i mean he taught him the movements right but how can you actually learn something if you don't actually like practice it like with actual lightning like, how, how do you know that you actually learn it if you don't direct it you know so i'm like uh, i appreciated the fact that he learned the moves and everything but i'm like you still need to practice that he still needs to conduct the electricity and until he's able to properly do that and i'm not gonna believe that he got this technique down you know so when i decided not to do that he left and tried to get nature to help him but nature was like nah and then there's ink side of it him learning um earth painting and Kutara tried to give Toph some advice on how to teach bending 
to and that he responds to positive encouragement and all that and i'm like no tough is not like that <laughs> and he was learning you know stuff but then when he came to him like stopping the boulder with his blindfold on and all that and, nah, he couldn't do that in the other way and in the meantime you have Sokka <laughs> trying to catch this little um cutesy animal to eat and then like at first when each time he tries to, he tries to catch the, the the animal he would like the earth would bend or something or other i'm like is the animal earth bending you know like it's not it's not new right if i remember correctly the episode where there was these two clans that were fighting each other and then they were um stuck in this maze you know, there were these huge two animals. They can earthbend, right? I think. So I'm like, is this animal earthbending? You know, keeping Sokka from capturing him or her? So that's what I thought. But then I'm like, maybe it's when um, it's Aang and the tough that are doing that, like when they're practicing the earth bending stuff that is affecting Sokka somewhere down there I don't know but he got stuck in there <laughs> he was making deals <laughs> but like if he gets out of there he's gonna give up me and then he's gonna give up Sokka so I don't know that's so funny and no you're not giving up you're not giving up all those things and in the meantime you had tough trying to push Aang to you know to the basically to the breaking point and he went and got his um nuts and was gonna eat it and then he got his staff that was he was using to crack the nuts open and all that to get i guess on his nerves a little bit and push him to earth bend but and left oh no he was meditating and that's when katara came in and told him that he has he hasn't seen Sokka in a while so they went that separate ways tried to look for him and then Aang found Sokka in there and then he did <laughs> i love how um during the conversation between those two when Aang is trying to get Sokka to understand how he's feeling and then he will be using like it feels like he's stuck between a rock and a hard place and you know you have Sokka in there that's like I, I feel like I know what you mean uh, that scene was funny and then you had the the mama bear that came and was about to attack Sokka and I'm like okay are you gonna is he gonna he's gonna have to earth bang you know to get Sokka out of there but you know he faced the beast head on but he still used airbending to face him to face it head on and then you had tough there looking at him and be like you know applauding him and be like okay you were able to stay firm against this beast just like you stood firm against me so you are an airbender and that was that the positive encouragement <laughs> that um Aang made it and then he was able to like you know throw the rock earth bend and then he's like he's ready to get <laughs> i love that oh my goodness the way tough got suck out of the ground <laughs> so funny tough is so funny man oh my goodness she's so funny so yeah now you have well yeah that was, that was okay now um katara no katara and can earthbend it just is not a master at it yet and then you have zuko there that supposedly has learned how to direct electricity but he still hasn't had a practical test on it so yeah Thank you guys for watching, and if you like this reaction, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you want to see the next episode right now, you can do so by checking out my Patreon at patreon.com slash feelamini. And you can also see the full of this reaction there as well. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.